I'm gonna make this real quick. Yo, what's up guys, it's Tyrant. Uh, I'm currently a fighting game content creator, streamer, uh, and commentator. I'm also very involved with the Dragon Ball Fighters World Championship and esports side of things. And today, I'm here to talk to you about why you should play Gogeta Super Saiyan 4 in Dragon Ball Fighters. Honestly, I thought you'd put up more of a fight. Okay guys, before we get started, be sure to subscribe to Dash Fight for more character guides and be sure to check out their website for all things FGC related. Okay guys, we're going to get started with um, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta's best buttons in neutral here. So, um, starting off, both of his medium buttons, the 5M and the 2M are really good, reach really far. Excellent round start. You know, you can beat most people's round starts with that um they kind of have to always respect gogeta 4 when he's there on the other side of the screen but yeah like these these are great buttons really far um fast start up uh he's also got some command normals so he's got the um the 6h is another great one that goes really far hits really high up um and he can cancel it uh, into um like he's got different follow-ups here so he can go like this um if you do another 6h or you can go low like that and this one is actually safe on block as well. So if you happen to catch your opponent guarding, it's a little bit of a gap, but like that will be plus on block. And then you can always pressure afterwards safely, do whatever you need to do to open them up. Um, that's a great tool. Uh, his S button is really good as well. So this, look at like this character's tools from mid range. Like this is just so scary. And then there, that's plus on block. So yeah, always um, keep this in mind. Also, he's the only character in the game that from round start can do a double air dash. So. <laughs> Yeah, um, this is another great way to open up the opponent, but we're going to go into that a bit uh, more detail later. You can also cancel his strings if you need to um, into this, the 214. So um, his quarterback special, uh, quarter circle back special, is um, safe on block always. It's an overhead. Um, the light version is minus two on block, but the uh, medium and heavy versions are uh, plus two on block so it's essentially your turn again straight away after that um even if you cancel into the light one you know like you can essentially back dash at minus two pretty safely so you should be fine yeah lots of safe specials with this character also his two three six special the quarter circle forward this is only minus four on block it's invincible to projectiles um and yeah it's a good it's a good poke in neutral i mean you might need to um it might be worth calling an assist to keep yourself plus here but yeah like it's, it's, it's another great tool to have and it just goes to show that up close, uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta has some really, really scary options. Um, so yeah, those buttons that I mentioned, most likely the best ones. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention as well. Um, his 2L is zero on block. So if you ever need to um, reset pressure, that's a really good option there. Because, you know, you're not giving up your turn. And you're really making your opponent think about, um, you know, whether they should press a button or what they should do. So yeah, 2L, really, really good button to reset pressure uh, right there. Okay, guys, let's move on to footsies and what Gogeta can do in the neutral to be effective. Um, I'm just going to start off right here with this. Yeah, so <laughs> as you can see right there, his auto combo is super good. Like the tracking on it, the hitbox, you know, it's just so one of these really effective ones to press. Um, <laughs> and I hate saying that because I probably made a lot more people aware of this annoying uh, auto combo. But yeah, it's... Um, <laughs> It's one of the best ones in the game, honestly. It's a um, really good anti-air. Um, and it will just work in those situations and combo, you know, when you expect that it shouldn't. So, yeah, that's a really good tool when your opponent's kind of flying around and you're not really sure. Because it will also, like, turn around and catch them on the, on the other side as well. Um, another really good um, neutral tool for Gogeta 4 is this, the Lariat. Okay, so this is fully projectile invincible. As you can see right there, it goes straight through and you will get a full combo. Yeah, so where like this character doesn't really have um, many great tools from full screen, this is definitely one of the best ones to close the gap. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's really, really strong. So um, be aware of like this one for sure if you're picking up this character. 
Okay, guys, moving on to Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta's assists. Um, so, essentially, um, Gogeta Super Saiyan 4 is a character that has a level-up mechanic um, that's unique to him. And, um, basically, his A assist is the taunt that levels up that mechanic. So, as you can see right there, it says level 1. Um, and, basically, each time you do this, it will level up a little more. So, you can see it's level 2 now. Um, he also builds bar as well when he does this. So, he gets, like, half a bar. So, think of this as, like... You know, a kind of not as good version of like base Goku B in that, you know, he shows up, he gets his unique level up mechanic and gives you some bar, you know, half a bar is nothing to sniff at, you know, so that's not, um, that's not terrible, uh, but it's, you know, it's nice to have that. Um, but yeah, it doesn't attack the opponent or anything like that. You know, he just shows up um, and, you know, gets that level up. So, yeah, that's his A assist. Uh, moving on to his B assist, which is just kind of like, you know, it's just like one of these um, just kind of generic... Uh, you know, block stun assists. Not amazing by any means. Um, here we go. Yeah, you know, 33 for eight, plus 33 is, is not terrible uh, for one of these assists. And, you know, you can use it to extend combos and things like that as well. Um, pretty easily. You know, stuff like this. The basic stuff, you know. Uh, so, yeah, you know, his B assist is just one of these regular assists that you'd expect you know it's pretty simple think of it as like most of the assists in the game uh in terms of uh you know block stun and uh combo potential uh his c assist is his uh dp so it's you know basic c assist stuff he'll combo after but the thing about gogeta super Saiyan 4 c assist is because it is his dp and another mechanic that's unique to him is he can gain dragon balls at will every time he does this dp he gets uh an extra dragon ball so there you go um so that's kind of nice a little extra bonus there um for his c assist but yeah overall i would say his assists in general are pretty lacking uh, compared to some of the other characters in the game you know nothing um, amazing with these like depends on your team loadout you know like you can build teams around the level up mechanic you can build teams around um around that or collecting the dragon balls perhaps so yeah he's a little bit different and he brings something new to the table with that regard Alright guys, I'm just going to very briefly talk about team synergies for Gogeta 4. So, um, I think that most of the time this character should be played on point because it gives him opportunities to get his uh, level up mechanic. He's also a, a bit of a beast in the neutral and does very well with assists. Um, uh, so, like, yeah, I feel like this is the best position to play him. You know, w when he doesn't have assists, he can be a bit lacking, especially if you're, like, full screen and stuff like that. And, yeah, having multiple assists for him is really strong because you can do things like, um... Yeah, you can get his, like... It, depending on the assists you choose, you can get multiple level-ups in the same combo and stuff like that. So, yeah, there are assists in the game that are, like, l great for this. You know, similar to that. Andrew 16 uh, B assist. But yeah, there's, there's there's lots of different strategies you can build with him. But I would say having him on point is probably the best bet. All right, guys, just going to show you a couple of quick uh, pressure and block string examples. And uh, ways you could perhaps think about opening up uh, your opponent with this character. Using assist is always nice, obviously. Um, even solo with this character, you can really make your opponent think about when it's their turn. By like stealing turns like that. Because you can actually cancel uh the taunt there the finish sign so yeah you can steal levels and steal turns essentially uh they you know they see the finish sign they try and challenge and then to get opened up um okay also solo don't forget this character does have a command grab um really good you can also convert pretty easily you know just dash up and whatever with most assists um you know vanish if you have to but yeah like pressure tools this character has up close are really scary um but yeah, that's just a couple of very, very basic examples of block strings, as I don't have a ton of time here. But yeah, be sure to experiment and see what you can find. Okay, BNB combos. All right, let's get started here with a round start classic with Gogeta 4 at 5M. Really, really good stuff. Big damage on this combo. Brings them all the way to the corner. Look at that. Boom. And then they're fighting for their life right there. They've already lost more than half life. <laughs> it's it's scary, man. Um, in the corner, uh, you do something a bit differently. So again, from medium start, you can... This combo works even from a light start, actually. So do it grounded. Ba, ba, uh. And these combos look so stylish, man. I love this character's combos. Yeah, real big damage there. And like I said, you can do the same thing 
from a, a light starter, which is really nice to have because you don't have to really worry about learning a million different routes. Like all that works from the same stuff. Slightly more scaled, 4K damage, still good. Gogeta 4 as well from a super dash, he does have the benefit because he has a double air dash of getting a little bit more damage. So, you see that right there? Boom. From a super dash. Um, yeah, this character has some really, really effective tools. And he's really fun. Like, I think his combos look sick, you know? If you hit, if you hit that in neutral as well. Boom, and then you use the super dash. Bring him down. Yeah. Just an absolute powerhouse. This character hits super hard. Um, and his combos are really fun to pull off, so. Alright, so. Game plan and strengths. So... Gogeta 4 is essentially just trying to close the gap as quickly as possible and just cause mayhem, you know, whether it be with the uh, with the command grab, whether he's just trying to steal turns and build levels, uh, you know, whatever he's trying to do. As full screen, he doesn't have the greatest tools. They're a bit lacking from back here. He wants to be, like, up here, pressuring, or, like, from here where he can poke effectively. You know, the double air dash is really effective to get close as well uh, and mix up your opponent. And one of the things you can actually do uh, with that double air dash, because he has access to it, you can do a solo. You see that right there? You can do a solo fuzzy uh, setup in the corner. You can do it mid screen as well with a um, moon jump, but it's easier in the corner. And that's another great tool to open up your opponent that is unique to Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Um, yeah, other than that, you can, of course, go for the, the level up, um, like I mentioned before. But, like, you don't even have to. Like, this character can be played so effectively um, just with his tool set alone. Uh, you don't even need to be going for those level-up gimmicks if you don't need to. You know, that, that can just be the, the cherry on the cake if you want. Or you can build a team around it, whatever you want to do. So, yeah, like, this character just has a lot of different tools. You know, he's got a counter as well to keep your opponent honest. And, man, like, he's just a nightmare to deal with. So, yeah, he, he his strengths definitely outweigh his weaknesses, I would say. And he's definitely worth playing in this season of the game. All right, guys, one other thing I forgot to mention. Gogeta 4 has the benefit of having a fully invincible down-down input DP, which, um, you know, as I mentioned, with the assists, build a Dragon Ball as well. And, um, you know, it's just always good to have a get-out-of-jail-free card if you need it there. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed this video um, and just a very basic introduction to Gogeta 4 and what he has to offer. Um, of course, I couldn't go over everything uh, because I'd be here all day. Honestly, the character has so many cool uh, things to talk about. Um, but I hope this is just a very basic guide to uh, help you pick up the character and see what makes him so fun in this version of the game. Um, and don't forget, you can check out all things shown in this video in the text version via the link in the description. And if you like the video, please don't forget to leave a like and a comment with your thoughts. And thanks so much for watching, guys. See you in the next video. Let's <laughs> go.